Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk video. I'm here today to share uh, my observations of some things that are very highly correlated that uh, uh, might validate you, give you a piece or give you pause to thought. Number one is there's a huge relationship or correlation between uncertainty and avoidance. If you think about this in the world of uh, procrastination, uh, it's interesting. If you're unclear, you don't really know what to do, you avoid it. The issue there is unclear. You're unclear. You're not really clear. If that's the root cause, then maybe you should focus in on clarity. Another correlation I think that's really interesting is the relationship between clarity and motivation. If a person with ADHD doesn't know what to do, they have a tendency to avoid stuff. But there's a big relationship if they do know what to do, they're motivated to do it. Now, <clears throat> cleaning the garage, something that's really boring and teeters, that's a little bit different. But the point that I'm really trying to make is so often people say, I need to get motivation and I need to, need to get motivation. I'm like, motivation is a result of something else uh, often. And uh, clarity is often a driver. So rather than just focus on, I've got to get motivation, like the willpower, if we begin to focus on clarity, how do I get clarity on what I'm doing? Uh, you might be surprised that you focus on the clarity, you might get the motivation. Focus on motivation itself and the clarity might not come. Conversely, if there's something that you're not doing or you're avoiding, the question is, is hmm, how can I bring clarity to this? Uh, that might give you the motivation. Now, this isn't for everything. This is not 100%, but as a general rule, I find this to be you know, quite quite common in coaching those with ADHD. And if you really want to move forward, uh, focus in on clarity as a way to get motivation to do what you're struggling with. Simple concept might be new to you, but it's really kind of impressive if you, if you pay attention to it. For those that are new to our channel, please hit the uh, subscribe button. We release a tip or idea each week. Um, also, for those that are interested, there's that little thanks button down there. Uh, we certainly love contributions to support what we do, the creativity and what goes into this. And uh, finally, thoughts and comments on this. Um, think I'm full of it or do you think there might be something to these correlations that might be worth paying attention to? With that, we hope you've enjoyed this edition of Attention Talk video. Take care.